Hello and welcome back to our channel. Hopefully you all will be fine. Let's start today. Parliamentary Finance hosts the Governor of the Central Bank to discuss the exchange rate of the dollar. Quote, After approving the budget and fixing the exchange rate of the dollar at 1,320 dinars, there will be a hosting of the Governor of the Central Bank and his advanced staff next week in the Finance Committee to discuss the issue of the exchange rate. He added, the committee will discuss with the governor about the bank's plan in maintaining the exchange rate. In Iraq, listing shares on the Iraqi stock exchange. Iraq is pushing electronic companies to be on the stock exchange. Why is this important? Because it forces another level of transparency. They will be responsible to shareholders and shareholders will be able to see what they are doing and that they are doing things honestly and legitimately. Aimo, this is pretty big news coming out of Iraq. And they are prepared for this. They have modernized banking and squashed corruption. I know they have been approached by the BRICS, but you're not going to see them go because the IQD and Iraq is still under sanction and restriction by the United States government. Not to mention we hold their gold and we hold their foreign asset reserve. So, no, they're not going to make that move. I wouldn't worry about it. Not at the moment. What is stopping them from moving forward? Yes, the rate. And Sadani's integrity with the people, as well as Alak and his position as independent from the GOI. With the article indicating the Parliamentary Finance Committee recommending that the budget to be released on the 18th is a message to Alak to move on the rate. My finance ministry connection in Iraq is very excited. We are getting reports that they did indeed put the budget into effect today, and we will see those articles all over the papers tomorrow morning. He says this was an enormous key piece that needed to be done before they could change the value. Overall, still positive stuff. Nothing negative. I don't have a great idea on timing, but they still are looking between the 15th and the 18th. If this is accurate, tomorrow should be a wham-bam day. Question. U.S. IQD paper holders should be able to exchange in the U.S. for U.S. dollar at some point in the future. The dinar is a currency of a country, therefore, it has monetary value that can be exchanged at any time at its current value. Any alternative process is unknown. All we are looking for is, when is it going to happen? I have no idea when it's going to happen, but I've never seen it poised the way it is right now. Guys, we are closer than I can say at the moment. It is all confidential, hush-hush things are quiet right now, but everything is looking good. That's all I can say. Iraq has been destroyed and war-torn. They are going to need the IFC International Financial Corporation. Their main business is taking countries to the private sector. It's phenomenal. Anybody that says, this will never happen, is not going to happen, it's a scam. They're misled. That's all there is to it. This country is going international. For the implementation of the budget, I am still waiting for an update out of Iraq. My last report on Saturday afternoon was they were expecting the go yesterday on the budget. It is already approved, just needs to be put into affect with all the money moving where it is supposed to. My finance contact over there thinks this is a serious key piece before they change the rate, so we are watching it. There is a lot of pressure from the Iraqi people on the government to release these budget funds. This is a good thing. Everybody's dot focusing on releasing of the, the, budget, monies. They are under the assumption that releasing the budget monies brings forward the rate change. I'm sorry, but it doesn't work that way. There's other steps that have to happen that introduces the rate change. Article. Parliamentary finance likely to launch budget funds after July 18th. So here we are. We've passed the budget. It's made the gazette. And still, they have not allocated out the money. We have information that says we are in a window. We've been told by some of our Redemption Center people that this could happen at any time. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more new videos.